Hi, this is Roger, thanks for dropping by. I thought I'd just sum up what still needs to be done this year. And it's, it's really, it comes into the category of the autumn tidy up. It was something that Hannah and I always used to do at the other house. We used to do a spring trim and an autumn tidy up. And that really is the level that this garden's got to. I'm pointing at those because those have still got to be planted. But they're okay in those pots. This is not an urgent thing. That will be one of those things that gets done when I'm in the mood. <laughs> and that's not today. Right, what's left to do then? This area down through here, I've finished planting and it's had its trim already. That's still left to do. Now I was lucky. The people over the fence, they have a guy that comes round and do, does the big sort of tidy up. And he got up there with a really huge tripod ladder. So he was right on top of that hedge with his hedge trimmer. I happened to catch him and said that, um, don't worry about anything that falls over my side. I've got a tidy up my side. It'll all get picked up together. And he said, oh, thanks a lot. So he leant right across and came right to that top edge. So all I've got to do is trim this flat and just take that. That's all I've got to do. So, and that'll be with the hedge trimmer. But I don't want to do that until Hannah's down here because it will be easier to do, you know, the second or third step up on the step ladder without having to extend the hedge trimmer to its full height, which makes it very heavy and very unwieldy. So that's what's left to do here is just go along there with the hedge trimmer. Um, this is going to be taken right back because it shoots out lower down quite quickly, I want this to be lower and shaped. So there's a little bit to do there, not much. Um, oh, the uh, maple's looking good at the moment. If, if only it got some sun on it, but it gets no sun there now this time of year. The sun can't climb high enough to get up over the, uh, up over the um, roof. Those box bushes are dead they've got to come out at some point just so that it looks tidy because a load of dead sticks in the corner don't look so good. This is okay until spring when it will be cut down again and allowed to grow into a bush. That's all it's ever going to be allowed to do. I'll show you why. That is what it becomes if you let it grow. So it stays as a bush. This doesn't need an autumn trim, it will get a spring trim. I'm making sure we don't walk on any of the new plants. This is the problem with the gravel beds now, I've got to watch where I walk. Um, right, this camellia is absolutely covered in buds. If that gets pruned now, I will be cutting buds off. So all I will do is take a couple of those long stalks off. Prickly bush, that just needs these long bits coming out, go back in, yeah, and just take it off. Keep it, keep it that sort of height where the big stumps are. And I don't want to do that just yet because of the berries for the birds. The laurel has gone mad. This is expected. This will happen every year. This needs an autumn tidy up. And that's a matter of, if you look along it, yeah, everything that's sticking out comes off because I want it flat against the fence. It's also starting, the top's starting to pick up again. Everything coming this way gets allowed to grow, but everything up there needs coming down so that it ends up as a hedge. That's the plan for that. And the same with that laurel there. Um, so really tidying up this side is this is this is the one that needs the most trimming and that will take about 15 minutes to do that with the secateurs and the pieces that are cut off can go straight in the in the bag in the bag holder so there's no bending down to pick it all up same with that down the bottom here virtually nothing because we've recently done the bamboo i'm not cutting anything off the maple tree that will be allowed to get as big as it wants but we do have a little job in here where the big, where the men came and took that massive spiky tree down. It was a tree, basically. That's starting to grow quite nicely now. And I want to keep that 
with a flat top and a flat front. So again, that needs a trim just below the height of next door's shed, just to stop it growing tall. So any long bits, any bits sticking out into the garden, just to do that. Um, the herbs, they'll get a trim. Um, the lavender's already had a trim and it's starting to grow again. Um, this perpetual wallflower that is, um, again, that's had a trim and that will pr produce growth that will come into bloom next year. The um, rosemary's had a trim. All this new growth will bloom next year now. Um, these types of herbs, these need cut cutting back hard now and they'll rejuvenate. So you can see the new growth coming up in the middle here. So that's that. And um, that really is it. Obviously nothing to do on the tree because it's dead. Um, so there's not a lot of work to do. There'll always be work with the ivy. The ivy will always, as fast as you cut it back, it will start growing again. But the heavy cut has now been done. So this would just be a matter of going along, possibly either with the shears to trim it, or with the secateurs, and just go along and just trim the ends off. And just keep the ends tidy, that's all it needs doing there. So that's really the, the workload. And I was gonna do some today, and now that I've come outside with the camera, I'm going back inside. It's been freezing out here today. It looks nice. <laughs> it's not. It's blooming cold. So I'm going back in. And then the rest of this week, we have a storm coming in, a named storm. So it sounds like we're going to get a lot of, you know, heavy winds and really heavy rain. Um, so that'll do this week. Hannah's down the last weekend of October. Um, and she likes to help with the garden so I'm reluctant to do much before then and then we can both get out here I'll enjoy it more because she's here and we do it between us so it's half the workload um, the only other thing that hasn't been done over here because um, I just can't get round to it really I started putting the mulch on the garden you know to help keep the weeds down and all that sort of stuff and I got as far as there and this bit hasn't been done and the bags are round in the carport round the front um, I can't lift them so basically the the mulch has to be emptied out of the bag and then sort of picked up you know in my big bucket and brought round here and put on the garden I am just I just haven't got round to it yet I'm not inundated with weeds round here quite honestly so it's not urgent but um, anyway I'm starting to rattle out here where it's so cold especially with the breeze this one here this this just just needs a trim you know just take this growth back and it'll all come again next year see all the young growth in there ready to come up next year yeah so you just take the long shoots off ready to to go next year so uh, there we go some work still to do but it's merely tidying and it's something I can now look forward to Whereas at the start of this year, I kept looking at it thinking, this is hard work. This is still hard work. There's still so much to do. You can hear that wind getting up now <laughs> already. <laughs> Might be blue sky, but it's flipping cold and the wind's getting up. But we are due some storms coming in this week. So Anyway, I'm going back inside and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for dropping by.